Jamal Anderson, 1,000-yard back. Questionable before the game, but he warmed up well. But early on, it was the Bears defense that warmed him up. Yeah, and you can see they were scrambling around, filling some gaps, doing a lot at the line of scrimmage, not getting a lot of penetration, but forcing him all the way down the line, every guy playing his responsibility. The Bears have played hard most of the year for Dave Wansa. They held Anderson to 12 first-half yards for Dan Reeves. Jim Father Flanagan, boom, into the hands of Sean Lee, who delivers 15 yards. The former Chargers scores. Bears smell upset. They lead 13-3, third quarter. Late third, Chris Chandler. Chances are the Falcons would come back. Another game in which he's thrown a touchdown pass, 13 yards to Terrence Mathis, 13-10. Same score, fourth quarter. Now Jamal Anderson gets going. Anderson up the gut for eight yards. And then, Tommy, he can make plays when there's nothing there. Yeah, and look at the leg strength. He bounces out, great balance on all threes, breaks three tackles, and he's going to get every inch he can, Chris. Five plays later, third and five from 11. Chandler to Todd Heat in the kitchen across the middle. Touchdown, 17-3. Oh, Atlanta, they take the lead. But here's the scary moment. Full start. Mike Wells hits Chandler who twists his knee and his ankle. He leaves the game in obvious pain with a sprained right ankle and a sprained knee more in a moment. Steve Stenstrom started today for Chicago. Fourth out of the pocket. He said it's a fumble. Atlanta recovers. It wasn't easy. This was a scary sight, but no ligament damage for Chandler. Right now, he's questionable for next week, but a sprained right ankle, sprained knee, it could have been worse. DeBerg, the 44-year young wonder, finished up. You know they're a different team.